y'all i love my camera like i love my phone period on period <laughs> my phone is like really lit okay like what phone is that key this is the note 20 ultra plus from samsung and i absolutely positively love this phone i was gonna go buy a um filming camera but for what i love this phone but yeah i just wanted to check in i'm trying to keep up with this vlogs vlogmas stuff we didn't do anything today i went i was gonna go to mako to get my car to get an estimate on getting my car painted but i opted not to do that i decided to wait for my birthday let me see if i can sit this camera down hold on but i opted to do that for my birthday and um what else after that i went to the grocery store because we needed grocery i don't know if i told y'all but my son defrosted my whole deep freezer like he unplugged my deep freezer and everything in my deep freezer was ruined i didn't have no food in there so um i had to go buy groceries all over again i'm finally satisfied with what, with the way my deep freezer looks although i definitely will be adding more meat in my deep freezer i'm okay with what it looks like right now the children are still adjusting to staying um virtual learning although i just doing good timothy's struggling more lared you better not be on that phone you better have finished that work do i'm gonna take that phone for the rest of the week okay don't get on that phone zach don't let him on that phone he wants to watch tiktok all day and not do his work well that don't fly especially when for your birthday you want a 479 dollar game system because y'all know the playstation 5 come out so therefore no 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 bro you gonna have to um be focused but yeah i went to the grocery store made grocery got a bunch of meat and stuff and like my greens and my cabbage because i'm doing greens and um stuff this weekend which i don't know because i told hubby to barbecue me some boudin and some sausages so i don't know and i know i'm not cooking friday because i have a lunch date with one of my uh close friends and then Saturday we have a nail appointment and then we're going to look we have a family nail appointment Loridge said he didn't want to get his feet and toes done so it's just going to be me Zach and Audrey we're going y'all know he don't play that stuff he not into that type of stuff at all but I'm trying to teach him that it's okay for boys to get pedicures as well it's okay for men to keep their nails trimmed and looking neat and their cuticles looking nice so right now he's just not ready for that so i don't i don't force my kids to do nothing um like that it, he got it has to be a choice um i'm looking at an airplane fight i'll check it out in a second but um saturday we gotta go do that so i might take y'all along for that and then after we leave the nail shop we gotta go to um where are we going we're going to this furniture place and then sunday <sighs> I want a husband to barbecue because I wanted some barbecue boudin and sausage. But I might just go on and cook because I need to cook my greens. So I might just go on and cook my greens, do some beef tips, some macaroni and cheese, and some cornbread. That's what I might. That's what I see myself doing. Or some beef tips, rice and gravy, cornbread, greens. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, and some broccoli. I need to cook that broccoli. So I'm thinking that's what I might do. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then the week after that, by the time I can tell y'all, because by the time we get back, by the time we leave and come back, this this will just be getting out there. But um, we're also going to celebrate my mom's birthday. So um, next week. So I'm trying to prep and get ready for that. Thank God I was put in a position to be able to fund this trip. Because a lot of y'all know my husband got laid off. 
so it's been tight around here not bad tight but it's been tight i've had to um let go a few things that i didn't want to let go but i'm okay with let, letting go like it didn't hurt me or nothing so i'm cool um like my massages i know i said i wasn't gonna let it go but i had to go and let it go um and i'm not really buying clothes and stuff i went and did a um sheet and high on cardigans and um pajamas but other than that i haven't really been doing anything i'm trying to i don't here's the thing i don't even have to go into the stores to shop that's not my problem my problem is going online and shopping if i cannot shop online and kind of um discipline myself i would be good like i would be good but i did make a financial decision and that's to pay more on my car note because excuse me i've been drinking um something okay so here's the thing my cousin got an accident with her getting in an accident they paid her car off she had gap insurance thank god so she didn't owe nothing on her car she knew she didn't want a car note and she stuck to that even when we looked at car note places that would require her to have a car note she knew she didn't want to have a car note she knew that she just wanted a cash car she knew that she was going to have to have a nice sum in order to get a cash car which took us here she found her a 2017 Chevy Impala 56 56,000 miles on it for ten thousand dollars tell me she not winning leather seats bad when I say this car is bad it's bad now that did not inspire me to get another car but what it did inspire me to do is pay my car off to be debt free when it comes to a car note to not have to pay a car note to not have to deal with that aspect of life and knowing that your car is paid in full and you're only responsible for the maintenance that needs to be done on that car is simply amazing another thing it had me thinking about was the fact that she had that money sitting in the bank well she had <coughs> not even just the bank let's just say she had the funds to go pay cash for a car that was eye-opening because you never know when you're gonna have to do something that's gonna require a nice amount of money and the fact that she had that ready to go that was amazing so i've learned two things over this week one expect the unexpected honey because you don't know what could happen in life and you need to be able to handle it which has now made me go harder on my Roth IRA on my rainy day fund on my retirement fund my personal money not so much my personal well my car fund my car I turned my personal savings into a car fund because I was like I have money in my keys care account that's strictly my money it's strictly my spending money i can do whatever i want to do with it because it's mine so why not make this savings account my car fund so what i do what i do is along with making extra car no payments like instead of me paying 424 now i actually pay 724 because i'm trying to be done paying my car note so they get an extra 200 every month and then income tax time i'm giving them 2000 and then for my vacation check, um, for my vacation, I'm giving them nine. No, I'm giving them 5,000. So everybody, I'm going to be well a step ahead, but I just feel like paying an extra little something on my car note is going to help bring that car note down a whole lot. And my mom said something that made sense, which I'm still thinking about, but I do kind of still want to get my car painted. So I don't know, but she was like, instead of spending that money to get your car paint put that on your car note and then once your car paid off then go get your car painted but then me getting my car painted car painted was like a birthday gift to me so i don't know if that's something that i want to do you understand what i'm saying so i'm trying to figure that out but anyway i'm off top i'm off topic this just taught me to start really contributing to my savings and focus on paying my car note yeah i have other debts like my credit card debt I pay those regardless but i'm starting with the highest debt i have and the highest debt i have because i'm not even worried about my school loans right now until i finish school my highest debt right now is my car note 
period so i need to pay my card note down and that's what my focus is and i just it just it just shined a light on me and made me look understand and kind of kind of prioritize some things because i was already doing good with starting to save more and starting to invest more but now this is this situation watching her be resilient in this situation made me want to go harder and it made me want to really really be consistent because she made a valid point where do we go right now during covid we really don't go anywhere and it's not that we can't still have fun but put a cap on it put a number on that put you know instead of going to buy a section at the lounge try to get there early so you can get good seating and you don't have to worry about a section like i think the last time we went to my our favorite spot we spent $415 and that was on food, a section, drinks. The a, a couple of weeks before that we went we were at that place and we spent almost $1000. So that was frivolous money. And I'm not saying it to brag. I'm saying it because when you say it it sounds stupid. It sounds dumb as hell. And I I would I think I would have been I would have been more content if I was able to say, oh, I put a thousand on my car note or, oh, I put an extra 415 on, on a credit card bill. And you don't realize those things till after the fact. So now it's me training my mind, training my spirit, training my way of life into, um, I got glass in my bed from my phone my um screen protector is um breaking in the back for my camera i'm gonna have to change it um it's about training your thought training your mind training your spending habits training your way of living f focusing yourself centering yourself understanding what your end goal is you know um yeah okay y'all i'm gonna get out of here because i've been talking to y'all for 13 minutes now and that's a long time to talk to somebody but when i'm like really passionate about trying to get this right i'm gonna be 40 i have a five-year plan that i have to hit on the mark before i turn 45 i have five years to do this five years is all i have to do this because after those five years i should be settled i should be ready to make my next journey in life which is to find a house i should be ready to take on some major things i should be walking into my forever home and my credit score should be right honey so i'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me and i'm gonna make mistakes i'm not perfect i'm not gonna make them i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna fall off sometimes but the good thing about learning and living life is learning from it and getting back on the horse and riding off into the sunset so that is what i plan to do um i'm also taking my health more serious i'm watching what i eat i don't eat after a certain time like right now it is 606 i won't be eating anymore tonight i'm hungry but i think that's a mind thing i think my mind is telling me i'm hungry but i'm really not hungry because i've eaten today i've eaten twice today so i know i'm not hungry i just want to eat something so i'm thinking that i'm gonna buy start buying some yogurts um plain greek yogurt or vanilla greek yogurt and just buy granola and like different fruit that way if i am hungry i can eat those i also am um, invested in the bowhouse form smoothie drink so if i want something sweet and i'm craving it why not have something healthy and sweet yeah it's like a little high in, a little bit high in sugar but it's more healthy than me eating a snicker or me eating a bag of chips or me eating a cupcake it's a smoothie so yeah all right guys i'm gonna get out of here i promise to take you guys along on this journey um i thank y'all so much for always holding me down always showing me love always supporting my channel um even when I'm not so consistent, even when I can be boring as hell, y'all hold your girl down. And I definitely appreciate that. 
and no i didn't come on here with my hair done and stuff because this is me this is me at home this is how i look at home i'm chilling i'm with my family i'm relaxing i'm in my bed this is what i look like at home so yeah i'm gonna get out of here remember to think smart spend smarter and plan accordingly and i will definitely see you guys in the next video audrey is coming in my room but i will definitely see you guys in the next video oh i'm coming in for other people huh? Ooh. Baby, you always want to be the center of attention. Move around. Like, dang. Boy, move. He is so jealous of her. He do not like to shut alone. I'm like, whoa. Boy, move around. Look at how he looking. Lay down, talk. Go to sleep. He ugly. You a lie. I can't even let you tell that lie. This man is ugly. He's a baby. He's a roach. All right, y'all. Until next time, you gonna tell him bye? I don't know these people. Don't treat my family like that. Look, he don't want to be bothered with your BS. For real, I'll smack you. All right, y'all. I'll hey. see y'all later. Hey, Bye. My leg. I can't turn it off. Wait. <laughs>